Hallelujah. Cheap grace, just because grace is unmerited, does not mean it's free. Anybody hear me? You got to understand that grace cost Jesus his life. So let's get out of our mind that, 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 that grace is free. Grace, grace, God's unmerited favor. You can't earn. You, you got to get out of your mind that grace is free. Grace cost Jesus everything. Hallelujah. Cheap grace is grace without contrition. It is grace without commitment. Well, I may as well tell you the whole truth about this. Again, grace cost Jesus his life. And I came to tell you, grace going to cost you too. Oh yeah, grace, grace will cost you, your life too, as you know it. In other words, what are you saying, Pastor? Calls me my life. What are you talking about, Pastor? Well, all I'm saying is we must die to ourselves. We must die to sin. We must die to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. And this was, this was the kind of death that Jesus was trying to get that young man who wanted to come and become one of his disciples. This was the kind of death that he was trying to get this young man to when he told this rich young man, grew up all his life rich, that in order for him to become a follower of him, a disciple to him, you got to go and sell everything that you have. That's what Jesus was really trying to tell him now. You got to die to your old self. You got to die to what you think you know so I can enlighten your life. Hallelujah. So I ask the question, how many are willing to give up to follow Jesus? Hallelujah. How many are willing to give up? Give up your way. Give up your thinking. Give up what you want to do to follow Jesus Christ. Somebody say amen. So I say to you again, grace costs Jesus his life and grace costs you too.